Hey, Felix here. This is the third of eight videos for the Google Data Analytics course where I review and give my opinion on some of the courses in the certificate. Um, if you're someone who's thinking about enrolling or getting the certificate, maybe this will help give you an idea of what you'll learn in it. So, course three, prepare data for exploration. This course goes more in depth into the preparation phase of data analysis. And week one starts by giving us an overview of data types and structures. We learn about the difference between primary and secondary data, where primary data is data that you get on your own, and secondary data is data gathered by people other than yourself. As well, we covered different formats of data. And these included structured versus unstructured, qualitative versus quantitative, continuous and discrete, and nominal and ordinal. Data comes in different forms, and some data can be classified into more than just one category. Week 2 emphasizes on data ethics, privacy, bias, and access. We learn to differentiate between good and bad data, as well as the impact that bias can have on our data. So for those of you who live in Canada, you would have received a letter to fill out the 2021 census recently. This is important because rather than a physical form, we're given an access code to fill it out online. Now, for the younger generation who grew up with technology and are used to it, this isn't really a problem. But for our older generation or those with disabilities, this simple task is now just a little bit more difficult. Inclusivity, bias, and access in a survey can affect the type of data we get. Now, the census is a countrywide survey that's used for making important social and economic decisions. What impact could the lack of inclusivity have on our future decisions? This is a real life example of how bias and uninclusive surveys can have an effect on our data. And that's why I really enjoyed this week's lesson. Week three and four go on to talk about a few different topics such as metadata, which is data about data, data sources, data security. We also had a section about sorting and filtering as well as some more basic SQL lessons. It also covered the idea of proper naming conventions to help us keep track of files. Now, I'd like to think that naming conventions are subjective based on the person, but I can definitely understand when working in groups that naming conventions help keep the group organized for sure. Now, that's basically it. Course 3 covered a lot about the process phase of data analysis and I feel like I was able to see some things in our world that I can relate to what I've learned, which is pretty good. Course four is process data from dirty to clean. Now, my assumption is that we're just gonna be working more with Excel and cleaning data, um, but I haven't looked at the course yet, so I'll let you guys know what I learned. Okay, bye. Also, I don't think it's fair that I rate these courses, so...